Yo, what is going on everybody? So here yeah, to give hope a fantastic day. Welcome back to one another Madden video. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite coin making method as of right now to make some coins. Now this coin making method is really good because you guys really only need like 15,000 coins to do this method. I would say save up to 20,000 coins just to be safe, but you guys really only need 15,000 coins to do this method. And also because this method isn't time consuming. You guys can do this method probably every, you know, couple or few minutes. It probably will only take you guys like five, maybe 10 minutes. If you guys get really, really unlucky, it might take you guys 10 minutes, but it really only takes me like, you know, three to five minutes to do this method. And because this method is really good, it's a low risk, high reward coin making method. So that being said, there is still risk with this method. So do this method at your own risk because you guys can lose coins. But worst case scenario, you guys will lose probably like five, maybe 10K at the very most. But the most I've ever lost is probably like 7,000 coins. So you're not going to lose that many coins if you guys get really unlucky. And if you guys get really lucky, you guys can gain upwards of like, 30 to 50k so low risk high reward so i do highly recommend you guys try this method out and if you have any questions about this method be sure to comment down in the comment section below but please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever i upload and also please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on youtube so we have officially reached our goal, 1,710 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. So now we are going to be doing a giveaway for this 99 overall Walter Payton. This will probably be the final giveaway of Madden 20, but don't worry, there will be more when Madden 21 comes out. So how this giveaway will work, is so I'm gonna put them up for four days. So this giveaway will end on a Saturday, August 15th. And I'm not gonna make a whole nother video going over the winner of this giveaway. I'm just gonna put the winner of the giveaway in a coin making method video. So if you guys wanna know who will win the giveaway you guys can watch the coin making method video i'm going to post on a saturday so we're going to put this up for four days what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to offer me a core rookie card so that way i know you guys have watched this video before so a core rookie card looks like these so core rookie just offer me any overall just a, just make sure it's a core rookie card and on saturday august 15th in a coin making method video i will be picking a random core rookie you know card to accept on my 99 overall Walter Payton giveaway. So good luck to all who enter and thank you guys so much for the support. If you have any questions about this giveaway at all, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. And also it's PS4 only, sorry Xbox, but there's not really cross platform and I am on PS4. So I do apologize for that, but hopefully when PS5 comes out, there will be cross play and I can do giveaways on both consoles. But anyways, uh, back to the video. And also shout out to Gray Cooper for being part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you guys have to do is subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And comment Noti Gang within the first 10 minutes of a new upload. And you guys also have to like that video. And I'll pick somebody random to shout that does all of that. So shout out to Gray Cooper for being part of the Noti Gang. And also quick tip before we get into the method, wait till early in the morning or late at night to sell your players because that's when players are the most expensive. And I'd recommend you guys wait until the weekday. So usually what I do is I wait till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night to sell my players because that's usually when players are the most expensive. You guys, if you wanted to sell your, you know, you guys could sell your players on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night if you guys wanted to, but I recommend you guys wait till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night to sell your players. If you guys have any players you guys want to sell at all, that's when I recommend you guys sell them because that's when players are the most expensive you guys don't have to do that to make this method work but it's just a you know tip to make you guys as many coins as possible and to lose as little as possible so the method that we'll be talking about in this video will be the 9291 overall Mutt Hero set. To complete the set, you guys need 289 overalls. You guys can usually snag these 89 overalls anywhere between like six to 8,000 coins. Usually I can get them for around 7,000 coins. So you guys can finish the set anywhere between like 10 to 15,000 coins. Do not spend over 15,000 coins for this set. So now let me show you guys what you guys can pull from the set. So here are the players you guys can pull and like I said it usually costs you around 10 to 15k to do the set so worst case scenario you guys might lose 5,000 coins at the very most. You guys want to pull somebody over 20,000 coins so any of these players you guys want to pull Jason Witten, Delaney Walker, David DeCastro, Jalen Ramsey, Jamal Adams, Deion Jones, David Johnson, LaMarcus Joyner, uh, 
Saquon Barkley. So those are all good players to pull. If you guys pull any of the players I just named, you guys are making a lot of coins. So there are 32 different players you guys can pull from this set. I would say 20 of them are profitable. So you guys have over a 50% chance to make profit. Now, not all of the profitable ones are good. Like some of the profitable ones will only profit you guys like 3,000 coins. But I would say probably eight of the 20 profitable players can profit you guys over 10,000 coins. So you guys have about a 25% chance to make over 10,000 coins from the set. So that is pretty good if you ask me. So as long as you guys pull one of these players over 20K, you guys should be able to make a lot of profit. So now let me show you guys how to snipe the 89 overalls for as cheap as possible. If you guys wanna skip this part of the video, you guys can go to the timestamp right there. But if you guys wanna know how to snipe these 89 overalls for as cheap as possible, you guys can continue watching. So you guys want to find these for under 7,500 coins. Just try to find these for under 7,500 coins if you guys can. So there's one for 7,900 coins. So that is not a good snipe. So what I do is I do quality 88 to 89 and just go and buy every single program. Co program legends, flashbacks, heavyweights, veterans, ultimate legends, football outsiders. I sometimes check series redux. Um, Mutt Heroes is sometimes a good one to check too. Actually, no, never mind. Mutt Heroes does not have any 89 overalls. I'm an idiot. NFL Playoffs is a good one to check too. Color Smash and Free Agency are also good ones to check. So I usually check all of them. So let's go to Flashbacks and see if there are any good 7,500 coins. All right, there we go. Any, there is one for 7K. So just buy any that you see for under 7,500 coins. So we'll put this one into the set. You guys always want to put the player into set right when you guys buy them. So that way you guys save a couple seconds. Because if you guys don't put them into the set right when you guys buy them, then you guys will have to back out and go all the way to set. So it just saves you guys some time if you guys put them into the set right when you guys buy them. So there we go. Add sets. 92, 91 overall hero. So that's one pack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get five packs in this video. I'm not, and then I'm going to go on a big pack opening all, opening all five at the same time. Because I feel like I have a better chance at pulling something good. If I open five at all at the same time rather than opening one at a time. It might just be me. You guys don't have to do that. Like I said, you guys can do this method with one at a time. Like you guys can just do this method once and then just open that pack once. But just because I don't know, I just like to open all five of them at the same time because I feel like I get more lucky that way. So that's just my personal preference. You guys can do whatever you want. And with every pack you guys open, you guys are ad adding about 4K risk. So if you guys open one pack, that's 4,000 coin risk. If you guys open two packs, you guys are risking 8,000 coins. So since I'm opening Opening five packs, I'm risking 20,000 coins. So it's completely your decision on how many packs you guys want to get. So 89 overall for 8,600 coins. Then now let's go to veterans and see if we can find any good 89 overall. So there we go for 7,100 coins. And I might cut to the pack opening soon. Once I get done with this set of looking for 89 overalls then i might just cut to when i get the pack so that way you guys don't have to see me snack for all these 89 overalls because i know sometimes that can be boring so once i get through all of these filters and show you guys the best filter to snipe these 89 overalls on then i'll just cut it to when i get the pack so we'll see how many packs we get all right so let's see 89 daniel hunter for 7200 coins we will definitely take that so this should be our second pack i'm pretty sure so all we need is three more packs so we'll put them into the 92 91 overall hero set so hopefully you guys get lucky and pull something good from that pack be sure to let me know down in the comment section below who you guys pulled from the 90 to 91 overall pack so we'll buy this one because it's under 7500 coins so we're about halfway there so now we'll put them into the set. So as you guys can see, it doesn't take that long to complete one of these sets because it only takes 289 overalls to complete the set. It doesn't take too long to finish the set. So let's check Series Redux for the heck of it. I don't think we'll be able to find any. And uh, usually Series Redux doesn't work out, but sometimes it does. So that's why I always check it. So let's go to Ultimate Legends and Ultimate Legends. Let's see, there's one for 6,500 coins. Usually Ultimate Legends are pretty good. So I do highly recommend you guys check Ultimate Legends if you guys are looking for cheap 89 overalls. We'll, we'll take a John Stannerud right there, put him into the 90 to 91. So now all we need is two more packs. You might actually be able to finish all five packs before we get through all of these filters. So we'll buy these. 89 overall so there's a lot of good 89 overalls in the ultimate legends filter so if you guys are looking for cheap 89 overalls i highly recommend you guys check the ultimate legends filter because this filter is really good right now so now all we need is three more 89 overalls so we'll buy this 89 kevin green for 7,000 coins and put him into the 90 to 91 overall mutt hero set so 
Now all we need is two more and we should finish the whole thing. So we just need one more pack and then we should be done and we should actually be able to finish it right here. So we might actually be able to finish it right here. So Ultimate Legends was able to get us like 689 overall. So Ultimate Legends is a, probably the best filter to send for these 89 overalls. And this should be our final 89 overall and then we will start opening up the packs. Hopefully we get lucky and pull, you know, Saquon Barkley, David DeCastro. So I'm hoping for a Saquon Barkley pull. Uh, and yeah, so hopefully we get Saquon Barkley or David Cash or any of the good players. But anyways, now let's count up how much we spent in total. So now let's add up how much we spent in total. So these two Malik Jacksons add up to about 14k. These two add up to about another 14k, so that's about 28k. And these two add up to about another 14k, so that's about 42k. Another 14k, 56k, another 14k. So we spent about 70k. We spent about 14k per pack, which is about the average. Average, you guys will probably spend about 14k per pack. So now let's see who we pull. Hopefully we can make our 70,000 coins back. All it takes is one good player. So first pack, 91 Jalen Ramsey. That is a great pull right there. So that alone should hopefully be able to make our profit back. We still got four more of these packs. Maybe we can get another good player. Let's freaking go, boys. We pull 91 Jalen Ramsey empty and we pull all right so now we're kind of slowing down again dante hightower not a great pull we got three packs left come on one more big pull maybe saquon barkley jj watt that's not a bad pull whatsoever jj watt is definitely a pretty good pull it's not one of the top players but it's like it's not in the, it's kind of like in the middle so we got two packs left greg olsen once again another good player to pull so this has been a pretty good pack opening we got one pack left and we pull 91 Lamarcus Shorn. All right, so this was probably one of my best pack openings. That was an insane pack opening. So just keep in mind, we spent 70K in total. Let's see how many coins we made back. And don't forget to enter into the 99 overall Walter Payton giveaway. So now let's add up how much we spent in total. So Marcus Joyner is going for about 30K. So 30K, just like that. Just like that, we almost make half of our coins back. Greg Olson goes for about about 15k all right so he doesn't go for that much that's about 45k in total still we didn't lose profit with greg olson so 45k plus jj watt who's going for about 90k yeah i doubt he's gonna sell for 90k we'll say i think i'll probably be able to sell him for about 25k we'll say 25k i'm not gonna lie to you guys and you know make more profit than i think i'm gonna make i'm gonna give you guys what i think i'm gonna make and i think jj watt will sell for about 25k so that adds up to about 70k in total dante hightower i know he's not going for much he's probably going for like 10k and yeah he's going for 8k so we definitely lost a lot of profit right there so that that is probably one of the biggest losses we're gonna take so that adds up to about 78k and then we got Jalen Ramsey going for about 25k. So we got back about about 105k. So that's not that bad. We got back, we spent about 70k, got back 105k. So in total, we made about 35,000 coins. So pretty good. 35,000 coin profit in just like 10, 15 minutes. So if you guys get really lucky, you guys can make a lot of coins. And if you guys get unlucky, you guys won't lose that many coins. But that is how you guys do this method. And remember, it is low risk. So there is still risk in this method. So do this method at your own risk. But I do highly recommend you guys do it if you guys need coins. I do apologize if you guys do lose coins, but all you guys need is one big pull. So yeah, tell me who you guys pull down in the comment section below. And don't forget to enter the 99 overall Walter Payton giveaway. Just look up Walter Payton on the trade block and just offer it a core rookie player. I will be picking a random winner on Saturday, August 15th. Good luck to all who enter, not August 15th, September 5th. Wait, no. Yes, it is August 15th. Holy crap, I'm an idiot. I thought it was September. Wow. I'm losing my mind. I, I keep forgetting what day it is. I don't know. Does that happen to any of you guys? I just keep forgetting what day it is. So for some reason, I thought it was September, but it is August. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. Because I do try to upload a coin making method video every single day. I mean, I'm not really anymore because Madden 20 has kind of died down. But once Madden 21 comes out, I will be uploading probably two or maybe even three videos every single day. So I can't wait for Madden 21. And also, please do like and comment because that 
helps me get discovered more on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. It's been absolutely crazy. Even with Madden 20 dying down, you guys are still giving me support. So thank you guys so much. Can't wait for Madden 21. And yeah, remember to God throw your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbors as yourself. And if you made it this far, say, hmm, say SpongeBob down in the comment section below. Because honestly, SpongeBob is probably my favorite show. But yeah. Uh, remember to God, love your heart, my social strength, and to love your neighbors as yourself. God bless. Watch and stay home. Stay safe. Peace.